Hey everybody, this is Mad Matt Carter. Thank you so much for watching the AIWF Network YouTube channel as well as the AIWF Ringside Wrestling channel. If you like what you see, please do us a big favor. Hit that like button, hit subscribe, and ring that bell to get notifications every time we post new videos on both our channels. It means a lot to us and thanks a lot for watching once again. Death. Deal with the Steels right around the corner, June 9th, Mount Airy, North Carolina. The AIWF US title is on the line. On AIWFWrestling.net, the fans get to choose what kind of match we have. Me personally, I don't care what kind of match we have because I'm going to make two promises to you, son. Promise number one, you're not going to walk out of that cage. Promise number two, I'm going to walk out of the cage, the two-time AIWF US champion, Jack. Welcome to AIWF Pro Wrestling. Thank you for allowing us to come into your homes. It's good to be here again this week. I am Mad Matt Carter, and boy, you have heard it. Robert Stanley has made the challenge to death for June 9th, Mount Airy, deal with the steel, death after winning the championship at Spring Jam, and then burning the Confederate flag has really caught the eye of Robert Stanley. I've never seen him this determined and this angry before, and he is promising that he is going to walk out of that cage with the United States Championship and that death is not going to walk out of the cage at all. Bold words from Robert Stanley. We've got great action for you this week, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to it right now. And we're underway here. The Phantom's still a, an interesting duo here. Circling up. We're going to call this uh, Phantom number two in the ring with Robert Stanley. Robert Stanley backs Phantom two into the ropes. Send him into the corner here. Into the ropes. Nice shoulder block down. Phantom two goes for the hip toss. Robert Stanley's not going to let it happen. Oh, takes Phantom two down with his hip toss of his own. Another hip toss down. Two power slime by Robert Stanley. Phantom one in the ring. Mike Dalton. No, what a clothesline. Both of the Phantoms, they're going to go outside and regroup. <laughs> Phantoms taking their time getting back into the ring here. Referee Smiley up to a six count here, and the Phantoms are just starting to come back into the ring. Looks like we're going to have Phantom 2. Oh, Phantom 2 just broke the count. Phantom 2 taking his time to get back in the ring. Robbie Stanley is actually holding the ropes down for him here. Phantom 2 backing into the corner there by his partner. Phantom 2 and Robin for Stanley blocking it up. Oh, thumb to the eye by Phantom 2. Head into the corner, tags in his partner. The Phantoms have had a uh, unlucky streak because they've since they've made their comeback here in the AIWF. Oh, double deckers on the heads of Phantoms 1 and 2. Look at that elbow on both of the men. Tag in to Mike Dalton. Both of the Phantoms still down. Mike Dalton picks up Phantom number one. Twisting that arm, applying the pressure. Oh, elbow to the shoulder. Twisting that arm up just a little bit more, applying more pressure to that arm. Oh, nice arms, some talls. Leg drop down on the arm. 
Referee smiling, asking Phantom One if he wants to give it up. Mike Dalton still applying those elbows here and there. Looks like he's he's trying to break the thumb or something here. Mike Dalton picking up the Phantom. Big club and forearm to the back. Sends Phantom One back down. Sends him into the ropes. Looks like, oh, nice little clothesline by Mike Dalton. Mike Dalton going for the cover. Smiley down for the count. Also close, almost a three count. The Phantom's trying to get the crowd behind him. The crowd's not having any of that tonight. Mike Dalton sends him into the corner. Oh, Mike Dalton misses. Schoolboy over on Mike Dalton. The Phantom One's got him up. Trying for that pit. Oh, only a two count. Phantom One applying those kicks to the, the gut of Mike Dalton. Phantom One going for the cover. Phantom One taking the punches through the head of Cowboy Mike Dalton. Fans getting behind Regent, uh, Robbie Stanley and Mike Dalton. Missed that punt. Oh, side slam by Mike Dalton. Dalton down. Phantom One down. <laughs> Referee smiling, implementing the uh, 10 count here. Phantom One slowly getting back up. Not in the right corner. Just realizes it. Mike Dalton may be there too, though. Mike Dalton with the tag to Robbie Stanley. Phantom Two's in also. Robbie Stanley going to town on, with those punches. Right to the face of Phantom Two. Down to Phantom One. Sends Phantom 2 into the ropes. What's it going to be? Oh, diving shoulder tackle. Five minutes gone by. Five minutes. Oh, nice diving clothesline into the corner. Looks like a fine bulldog. Only a two count as Phantom 2... Phantom One is kicked out. I'm getting the two confused here. Robbie Stanley going down with a diving elbow. Robbie Stanley going for the cover here. So, so close. Phantom Two barely kicked out. Only a two count. Mike Dalton in with the tag here. Phantom two plead, begging and pleading not to do it. Oh, diving. Oh, forearm smash. Mike Dalton clobbering Phantom one over in the corner. <coughs> nice little kick. What's he? Oh, Bulldog down on Phantom two. Only a two count. So, so close. Referee Smiley debating the call of Mike Dalton. Mike Dalton asking what more he's got to do to put away Phantom 2 here. Sends Phantom 2 into the ropes. Looks like a nice little spin and sidewall slam. Could it be? Yes, spin and sidewall slam. Robert Stanley on the second rope. Nice all diving leg drop. Phantom 2 down. Smiley down, almost a three count. Phantom One making the save. Smiley telling Phantom One he needs to hold that tag team rope. As Phantom Two takes a thumb to the eye. Two makes the tag to Phantom One now. Phantom One in the ring. Quick to jump on the attack on Robert Stanley in the corner. Since Robert Stanley into the corner, oh, clothesline. Nice little hip toss. Phantom One slowing the match down here, applying the sleeper hold on Robert Stanley. As Smiley checks in on him, seeing if he wants, to, if he's gonna give what he's gonna do. Smiley implementing the the three there. Robert Stanley hanging in there. Go, 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 
Robert Stanley getting the crowd behind him again. Those little elbows to the midsection there. Sends Bantam one into the ropes. Spine buster. Shades double the double A. Robert Stanley telling the Phantom One, that's it. Robert Stanley up the suplex. Is he going to get it? Oh, suplex down on Phantom One. And that looks like that's it. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners of the match, Robert Stanley. And Mike Dalton. Come on, you look about to change. Come on. It's getting ready to turn around for you, man. Go ahead and you want. Please, 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 Put your money in, bro. Let's go. Place your place. 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 Place Wow, they're going to be breaking ground on that permanent location before you know it. <laughs> Fans, we've got more action coming your way this week on AIWF Pro Wrestling. Stay tuned, don't you dare go away. I'm not saying. Check out King's Hot Dog, located down at Rural Hall, North Carolina, at Village Square Plaza, right off of Highway 52, exit 118, where you can find anything from corn dogs, BLTs, chuck wagon, barbecue, and the world famous King Dog. That's right, 14 inches, two pounds of meat, and with drive through service available if you're in a hurry, stop on by today, Village Square Plaza, Rural Hall. Good heart, all fans. Secondhand Heroes and Home for Wayward Villains is a comic book shop and gaming store that also features Magic the Gathering and D&D. Located at 18184 Leesville Road in Evington, Virginia, Secondhand Heroes is your one-stop shop for you to get your nerd on. Open seven days a week at 11 a.m. They don't close until the dice stop rolling. They buy, sell, trade, barter, and haggle. Specializing in collectible toys, both vintage and modern. Comics, Magic the Gathering, video games, console, and arcade cabinets to play. All set to free play. Host your game night with us. Monday night D&D video game competitions and so much more. Something for the collector and gamer in us all. Call 434-317-0121 or shoot us an email with any questions to secondhandheroesva at gmail.com. Note, secondhandheroesva at gmail.com that's 2nd handheroesva at gmail.com come game with us what has legitimately become one of the toughest tag teams I've ever been in the ring against these two men put together on a, on a flip but I tell you what no one can ask for tougher opponents You're right. this evening weighing in at a combined weight of 465 pounds first of all from Long Island New York Robert Roma and his partner from anywhere on the East Coast but here, James Reno. They are the AIWF Tag Team Champions. Sorry, not the best commentating there. Well, the, the ref, go. Did, did, did you notice the crowd even cheered when he said, when you said anywhere on the East Coast but here, they still cheered? <laughs> Maybe they're just glad he ain't from here. Who knows? <laughs> I but tell you what, what I was going to say before the announcements, Tiny Tim. 
you were talking about both of them breaking out of their mold a little bit. You got to think in all the years that Reno's tagged with Chuck King, Reno's not used to getting a positive response from the fans. I agree. But the, he may actually be welcoming it a little bit. I agree. And we're we're without Chuck King here. You know, we saw that Chuck come out earlier with with you know having to go to the restroom real bad. They're not feeling too well. Yeah, you know, I got I, I got I got to say this much. I had that stomach virus a couple of days ago, where Tiny Tim, and ain't no joke, brother. I I understand. That stomach virus is running rampant all around this area, brother. Chuck King, you know, it, it's unusual for this tag team to not have Chuck King. We'll see if it plays any factor in tonight's tag, tag team title match. Well, you know, there's been some interesting stuff going on with these guys. Chuck would, Chuck would go to reach for high fives out of them and just kind of get brushed off. That's true. There might be a little bit, a little more dissension there and people's actually noticed in there, Tiny Tim. You know, Chuck and... Chuck King and James Reno came into this, into the AIWF. New team, new, I mean, they were the force to be reckoned with. The feud they had with Robert Roman and Butch Steele that caused this team to come together with Butch's injury. This this match is, is just something else here. The, the whole teamwork is. Well, like I said before they came out, I've been in a lot of matches, a lot of tag matches, especially here recently, you know, and, uh, Roma and Reno are just probably two of the toughest guys I've been oh, yeah. in the ring with. Yeah, I'll agree with that 100%. I don't think I don't think there's maybe five, seven people on the whole East Coast, pardon the pun, that can go move for move and hold for hold with Robert Roma. I agree. And I'm... James Reno is just flat out tougher than Shula. I agree 100%. Robert Roma probably the most technically sound wrestler in the AIWF. Uh, Damian Arcane quick to come to his partner's rescue as Incognito skips to the outside. And the tag team champs have cleared house here with James Reno. Well, you see, another interesting point I brought up earlier, when you got Damian Arcane in the ring, you always got to keep an eye open in the back of your head for War Incorporated because you never know when they're going to be sneaking around. Well, Damian's, what, a 15 to 20-year veteran of the, this business, I believe, isn't he? Uh, he's pushing 15 years, that's for sure. I've had battles with those guys all up down the East Coast in Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia. I've, I've had battles with War Incorporated. I know what they're about, brother, and let me tell you, whenever, our, whenever one of them's in the ring, you can guarantee the rest of them's watching. Incognito quick to take out that knee of James Reno in the brace. Looks like he knows just where to go to take advantage. Oh, wait a minute. Could be a figure. Oh, inverted figure four. Nicely done. Putting all that pressure down on the end. And listen to the crowd. Chant for Reno. That's that's amazing right there. Are we in the twilight zone or what? Do, 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 do. Incognito number one, putting all that pressure down on that, that braced knee of James Reno. All right, now he's got it in the standard figure four and he's got it locked. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Robert Roma to the rescue. Right, he was going to break the rules there a little bit. And Roma made sure that didn't happen. Roma stomped him right in the face. That kick to the face really put that move off. James Reno hobbling around here. And now he's got the knee of incognito number one. Something I've learned about James Reno, he, he's kind of like Brian Danzig in the sense that he can you, high flying, technical, uh, whatever style you throw at him, he's. Now he's, see, he's now see, Tiny Tim, this is the kind of wrestling I love. This is old school. Yes, sir. What you're, what you're seeing is a throwback to the days of Terry Funk right here, brother. Terry and Dory Funk with that step over toe hold. And until somebody's locked that on you and put the kind of pressure that Reno's got incognito number one in right now, you just don't know what it's like, brother. I've had the chance to get in there a couple of times myself and actually have play around with some moves, and that's something that did. <laughs> Submission moves, they may not look like they hurt, but fans, they do hurt. This is something you don't want to try at home. Reno Aplana. Looks like all Kane trying right to take the mask up. off. All Kane right in to break it up. Incognito making the tag to David Arcane. Arcane. You know, I made so much, I brought so much light on the onto the whole thing about War Incorporated. You know they're watching somewhere. But Damian Arcane is one tough SOB in his own right, let me tell you. Damian Arcane, all, 
other than Incognito, who we're not really familiar with, the rest of the guys here all have so much experience. They're, they're probably older than that guy sitting in the front row combined, so. And Damien O'Kane went from a food jewel on board. Now he's trying to roll him over to go for a pinning combination, it looks like. Or maybe he's just pulling, trying to hyperextend. It's really hard to tell from his vantage point. Yeah. Either way it goes, he's coming back up now. This weird team of Incognito and Damian Arcane, they're, they're playing the, the, you know, the game, the submission game with James Reno. Working on the arm, working on the leg. Reno's not having it anymore, though, it looks like. Oh, what a right hand. Lord, down to the ground. Arcane is down. There's the tag to Roma. We're almost finally in the match here. Comes right in. Couple. Oh, man, what a cut. by five minutes. Uppercut, about to dislocate at Arcane's jaw. Oh, what a nice elbow back to... elbow. Oh, oh, elbow right to the base of the neck. Foot on the rope, real quick to get that foot on the rope. There's an experienced wrestler for you right there. Knows Absolutely. where he is at all times. Absolutely. And Arcane also knows, believe me, you can bet J.D. Anderson and David Steele gave him, gave him plenty of a motivational speech reminding him this is a tag team title shot. Oh, yeah. War, War Incorporated is no strangers to title matches here in the AIW. No, they're not. They've been not. there many a time. Multiple time AIWF Tag Team Champions. You know, I'm going to give both teams credit. They've done an excellent job of, of manipulating their opponents, keeping their opponents on their side of the ring, and really going to work and making, you know, ground in the Tag Team Champions here. It's, it's been a good... You know, and Roma kicks Incognito off. Oh, nice takedown. What a, oh, stretching out those tendons. Oh, man, that was nice. That's the one thing about it. Here in AIWF, you never know when you're going to see somebody come along. You just like this Incognito, you really don't know anything about him. But moves like that, he's, you know, this is no... This, this ain't no spring chicken right here we're dealing with, Tiny Tim. I think we've got a seasoned veteran under there that you know, we, we may not be familiar with him, but I think he's been around the ring once or twice. I don't care who you are. Robert Rome will bite your fingers. You're going to let go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, slam into a ball, dude. Nicely done. Roma showing him the effects coming off the ropes of that knee they've been working on. But quick to make that pin with the elbow drop. He, he was trying to get the mask. Reno made a blind tag. They are determined to get that mask off of there. James Reno stopping taking that mask off, though. What a right. Arcane come in to break it up before the ref could even get down for the count. Nice reversal. Big clothesline. But he's just spent, down. brother. He's just spent. Tags made. You know, R Reno stopped Robert Rover from taking that mask off. He had the perfect opportunity. You got to wonder if Reno knows who's under the mask. Damien Arcane twisting that arm up, putting the pressure on it. Nice Russian leg sweep. Got his arm locked. Club and ball. Nice headbutt by Damian Arcade. Takes down James Reno. Oh, wait, and he's got the ropes right in front of the ref. Come on. You don't have Smiley sitting out here. It ain't going to work this time around. So. No, Rob's eyes work a little better than Smiley's do. Damian Arcade down into the below the waist, you might as yeah. well say, with that leg yeah. drop. Referee distracted with Incognito, though. Incognito not the allowing referee, that tag. Referee's not allowing the tag. You got to give the referee that credit. He's not letting these guys. They're they're all old that's school one guys. Thing, that's seems. one thing about Rob. 
you were saying? Oh, I was just saying, all four of these guys, seasoned veterans, they'll take anything they can to get over on the referee, and the referee is not. Rob McIntyre is sticking it straight down the middle and not letting them get over on him tonight. Absolutely. I can't tell you how many times I've been in the, I've been in the ring with guys never make a tag behind the referee's back. The referee let it slide. Rob McIntyre right on top of things. I agree. Good job by the ref. Incognito with that tag on, on Damian Arcane. Damian twisting up that arm again, but ran him quick to the midsection with a punch. Sends him into the ropes. Oh, oh what a man, nice. what a close line. Impact of that was just sick. Reno using the good knee, taking those knees into the mid or the chest of uh, Damian Arcane. Looks like he's gonna get some retribution from earlier here. Oh! What the ref don't see won't hurt a thing. That's what to say. And ten now he's just gone by ten minutes. And now he's just stretching all Kane's neck. The body's not meant to be contorted that way, Tiny Tim. For fans watching at home, the worst that he pulls back, I mean, he's got Robert Roman's help doing it now. He's really stretching out those muscles in that arm and in that shoulder area, applying more pressure. And right when we were giving credit to Rob for catching everything. <laughs> well, you know, once again, the rep don't see won't hurt him sometimes. But look, look who's who's in this conspiracy. It's Robert Roma, longtime fan favorite, sitting there right behind the ropes. Reno has taught him quite a few things, too, that's for sure. Oh. Dive and elbow and the back sends JD, or Damian Arcane down. Uh-oh. Can have a slingshot? Oh, slingshot to that bottom rope. Tully. That's old school Tully Blanchard right there, brother. Incognito with a boot to the head on Robert Roma. Robert Roma gets stopped by Damian Arcane's uh, elbow to the midsection. Damian Arcane looks like he's gonna get back to work on that left leg of Robert Roma. And Reno just sneaking right in with a boot to Arcane. We're going to quickly tell the ref he didn't do it. <laughs> Incognito in. Quick, oh. Quick switch behind the referee's back. Let's see if he catches this one. He's got the leg grapevine. You know, Damian Arcane just done that move a minute ago. Reno. Now, wait a minute. Roma just reversed it into a figure four. Nice move by Roma, nice counter. This is definitely an AIWF old school match, so to speak. Submission moves, technical moves, you name it. We've seen it here tonight. This is shades of, of the old NWA days for sure. What a match though, Robert. I mean, these four have really gone at it here. Yes, they have. That was a textbook neck worker. Yes, it was. See the head snap. Boot right to the gut. James Reno applying that abdominal stretch. Putting the pressure. You can't see from this vantage point if he's getting any help with that <laughs> from the ropes. Ah, oh, there we Doesn't go. Doesn't appear to be. See. Appears to be a standard straight abdominal stretch. Again, just good classic old school wrestling. Incognito getting ready for the third drop. Oh, he's still in it. Still in this match. Nice hip toss by Incognito. Making the pin attempt. Incognito may have been busted open in the mouth there from that, lot, that neck breaker by Robert Roma, it looks like. 
He's saying, he's saying something. He keeps pointing to his face. Incognito just taunting him to keep going. It's and he keeps check, he keeps sticking his finger in his mask. It's like I don't know if maybe he lost a tooth. May have been. If he even has any, you don't know who's <laughs> under that mask. He's been really going at it hard here. 15 minutes have gone by, 15 minutes. Incognito backs him into the corner. Uh-oh. Oh, what a oh. chop. What a chop. Oh. oh, he's just making Reno mad. Oh, what a chop. You know, that's something that I've seen. If, if you're in there against where's James Reno, you where's don't. Where's all Kane going? Oh, they're taking Robert Roman to the outside. Oh, man, all Kane hard to the post. Down come the straps. Where are they going here? Robert Roman up top. What's... Suplex. I don't know what you want to call it, but there's the three count and the 